Okay, a little update on the garden. I forget what week it is because it's been a while since I've updated. But since I've updated, um, we've been having a lot of wet, rainy weather. Well, I guess if it's going to be wet, it means it was rainy. Um, I did have some hail damage at one point. Um, but overall, everything bounced back great. So here's what we got going on. The corn's doing great. Garlic, doing great. Uh, the potatoes are doing absolutely fantastic. And my plan worked on um, the potatoes shading the carrots because it will eventually get hot and scorching. And that's gonna help protect them. And let's see, the peppers, as peppers do, they just kind of sit there. And they got a little hail damage, but they seem to pull out of it okay. I got some flowers. So some peppers are gonna come up. I'm gonna get peppers. And then here's my, let's see, these are the Carolina Reapers. You can see the hail damage. They pulled out of it pretty good. Carolina Reapers, a couple ghosts, another ghost. Doing well. Onions, doing fantastic. They'll start bulbing when the days are getting short, shorter, and I think we have 10 days for that. So, yeah, they're. Um, they're way ahead than they were last year. And of course, the tomatoes are doing great. Uh, let's see, we got some little watermelons here. That one got beat up with hail, so I planted two more and they're growing. I'm gonna leave all three in there, why not? Um, got the zucchini or summer squash. Funny, funny story is uh, I had labeled these cucumbers, gave some to a neighbor, told them they were cucumbers. Well, he's in for a surprise. Um, so I think that might be the cucumber and then I think these are cantaloupe and they're, they're not doing very well they got beat up by the hail but I have faith that they're pull out especially this guy look how sickly he is but you know these squash are amazing you give them the right conditions and they're going to take off uh, my beans are up They're doing well. A little bit of bug damage, hail damage. That's hail damage right there. But they're doing okay. They're growing. They, I planted them perfect. Um, we were in a hot spell. And I planted them, they busted, busted out of the ground in no time. And then of course we got the asparagus, which I can't do nothing with yet, but it's still putting out. Asparagus. So yeah, they're gonna, they're doing well. Yeah, everything's doing well. The only thing now I have to worry about is, um, well, extremely hot weather. Cause one thing I didn't take into consideration when I put it in this fence, it traps the heat back here, and it gets scorching. So let's take a closer look at the. There's the carrots being shaded by the potatoes. And then no shade for the peppers or the tomatoes because we don't want that. But the tomatoes are going to grow high and they're going to shade the onions, which is good. And nothing's going to shade the beans, which is good. So I think it was a good plan this year. And then my corn. Doing really well. What do they say? Knee high by 4th of July? I think we'll get there. Okay. So that's it. Everything's doing good. No major bug problems. Um, a few of them roly-poly bugs were eating the beans, which is odd. I've never had them as a garden pest before. But they are now. Still, I'm not going to 
spray nothing or do nothing and let it go because I got a lot of good bugs in here too that eat them little well they ain't gonna eat the cell bugs but had a little bird damage not much okay until next time this is garden 2023